Hi, it's Joy, and today I'm going to be watching The Wilds, Season 1, Episode 9, Day 22, which is a week after the last episode, which is a very long time. And a bit of me is sad because I don't get to see the journey the girls go on over the course of that week. I'm sure that there'll be references to it, but we know from the previous episode, in their interview with Shelby, they talked about how Day 16 was kind of the point after which everything went wrong for everybody. And they also ate a lot of their food. Um, so it is going to be a stressful time, I have a feeling. And I also, I originally thought this was like a one season show. And I have seen, um, I know no spoilers or anything, but I've seen that it's going to be a season two. And I'm thrilled about that because I'm in love with this show. I'm in love with these characters. I really hope it's not going to be like experiment number two, get some other girls in. Um, but no, I'm just really excited to see where this show goes. But that makes me feel like I was kind of expecting or hoping we were going to build up to a conclusion. And now I'm stressed because I feel like we're going to build up to a cliffhanger. But yeah, without further ado, reminder, you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon. And right now, all of the season one unedited reactions will be up on my Patreon. And all of season one edited reactions will be up on my Patreon too, if you want to check those out early. But yeah, without further ado, let's go. You know this is wrong. Very sick, yep. Yeah. Are you? Well, yeah. Plus, you know, it's one thing to theorise about this and agree to it, but this project is disgusting and he is the only one here with a vague bit of morals. Oh, God. No. Oh. I just want to give them all such a big hug and a meal. I want to see the world how she does. Yep. I think we all do. Is it not as perfect as she makes it seem? Is it going to break or something? I'm scared. Or she'll go off. <gasps> yeah. Oh, baby Martha. Still sweet and everything. Honestly, like, trampolines have always scared me as a kid because of all the stories of horror, horror accidents that happen. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm not with her. Yeah, there's a lot going on that she's respecting Shelby's privacy with. There she is. She's That's a serious injury, okay. poor thing. This bad bitch is gonna be competing in the adult jingle. Go, Martha. He's been accused of abusing little girls. But right now with you, honey, all the DA wants to do is Oh God! Ugliest things about him. Did he do it? Only ever nice to me. I don't know. Just because it didn't. Oh, if it didn't happen to her, it doesn't mean it didn't happen to others. Or she represses her memories. You're going dark on me again. I do not blame her. It is part paranoia, but it's also she's picking up on signs. If she sensed something that she's not quite conscious of yet, she can't understand what it is she's figured out. Or is she just scared of the water now because of what it means in terms of diving? I'm trying to get in these girls' heads and I don't want to give them a hug. I don't kill everyone that's done this to them. Yeah, I don't agree with that at all. Shelby has been raised in a family with a lot of backwards beliefs. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, like, I agree, I understand, in any other circumstance. But right now... Right now, it's the goat or you, unless there's another source of food. <laughs> sort of feels like denial. Yeah. Just because I don't go around creating, you want me to be in a battle like everyone's against me and only bad shit happens. Martha's upset and she's taking it out on the first target she sees, like everyone does. Your sisters. Not sorry. You are sisters and sisters fight. Martha? She says she spilled some juice on it or something, but I'm not sure. Like it's something she's ever done before. Did she start doing it around the time she was being looked 
being treated by that doctor. Because I'll kill him. I mean, I already wish to kill the man, but... Well, if you don't get out of here, so go. Martha, sweetheart, you standing by your morals, I agree, I love. Go on. But right now, it is this go or all of you. You know, we were fighting. Not between you and me. Between you and that. Oh. Diving in the water and the future it used to represent and the life she's no longer gonna have. But that's actually the exit. No, it's not, sweetheart. Hey, stop. Stop. Sweetheart, you can't just walk into the ocean. Oh my god. Oh my god. Leah, sweetheart, there's nothing in sight. Oof. Did the parallel between the first episode or second episode, I think it was the first episode, with Arthur needing to be with singing and then like her holding it back for her instead of whacking her in the face with it. Dive. Is this I'm just I'm waiting for Rachel to lose her hand. It's very stressful. Dive, we, also stressful because we haven't seen Nora and we haven't seen Martha. We're hearing Martha's story and her flashbacks, which normally means that we get to see them being interviewed. Now that same thing happened with Fatten and we saw her at the end of the episode, so I'm stressed. We need to see Martha at the end of this episode, please. Oh, Leah. Is she gonna jump to save Leah? Surely, what's gonna happen if no one goes in to save Leah? Are the, are the experiment people not panicking right now? Oh my god. I'm proud of you, my love. Oh my god, Rachel, I'm so proud of you. They picked such vulnerable children to do this torturous experiment on and I want their heads. We can find fruit or fish. We don't need my goat. Why are you doing this? Thank you for doing this, Miss Blackburn. I know my love. Tell the truth. Can't just pretend it away. You don't think I know that? It doesn't fucking seem like it. I feel like this is the one thing Martha's being able to hold on to. I, I agree she's being unreasonable because it is literally them or anything else. But this is the one thing Martha's been able to hold on to is her morals and kind of seeing that deer has been like a spark of hope or peace for her every time she's seen it. And I understand why it's so hard for her, but I feel like really what she needs to do right now is just go back to camp and leave it to the others and then just don't be part of it. And maybe that's hypocritical, but it is a life and death situation. And oh my God, Leah. I hate the people that did this to them so much. This is bad enough if it just happens naturally in a terrible accident, let alone them doing this to these children but i love these girls so much i love my mom i know this is so barbaric I love you girls so much. You deserve so much better than this. What? Can we just not bring them back to everybody else now, sweethearts? <laughs> Shelby, be true to who you are and screw your family. Think of all you've survived. Oh, I love Tony letting her be the one to make the move. I just want Shelby to get to be herself and happy and okay. And she can get to that place however she needs to. With these girls, you have a family that will never ever disown you because they have kept you through all sorts. Maybe the priority though, as much as I adore you, should be to gather this fruit in our shirts and take it home. And then do as much of this as, as you would like. Oh. Can I give her a hug again, please? Refuses to see. I think she sees it, even if she doesn't want to. 
he's even tarnished this beautiful thing that she loves to do. Oh, Martha. Facing her demons. You did this for all the girls, my love. Did something terrible happen to Martha? Show me Martha right now. I think Tony would be more upset if she died, but maybe they've hidden it from her somehow. Part of her history. It's one of the reasons I chose her. You're a witch and I hope you die. That's an insult to witches. But where is Martha and why do you what are you covering up with her specifically over at the rest of them? Have Shelby and Tony seriously not come back with the fruit yet? Where's Martha? Yes! Oh my god! Holy shit! Oh my god, Nora was my top suspect over her and Dot, but... Nora! I'm not happy with you. I kind of... it was her or Dot and she kind of became the most likely suspect, but... Oh my god. It's Nora confirmed and Leah saw her. Now Leah is partly out of it because of the drugs, um, very days hungry and all the rest of it, so maybe she will believe it was just a dream, but definitely I think Nora's gonna play into her poor mental state to try and make her exaggerate how she feels and make her not believe it. But I'm really excited that we have confirmation with the operative is now. It kind of had reached the point where Nora had to be the one. Dot was still a candidate and I thought maybe it would be a curveball with Dot because even though she seemed very affected by everything, um, and that might even explain Nora's journal that she's been keeping so fastidiously is because she's actually trying to help with the with everything. But we haven't seen Nora and we haven't seen Martha. And Rachel said the thing about, do my parents know about Nora? So I don't, what does that mean? Did Leah figure out that there was something up with her and attack her and then that got her hurt and so she's hurt? Um, how does Rachel lose her hand? That is a huge deal. Um, why didn't we see Martha and what is the big problem with Martha that they need to try and do some deal with her family because surely they'd have to do a deal with every family given this unless are they trying to get these girls to lie about what they've been through I just I really don't know what their end game is here and I'm very very stressed um so for Martha this episode really touched on her backstory and I think it was a lot darker than like certainly a lot darker than I was expecting and I expect most the most people were expecting you know that she had this horrible injury and there was this man who was in a position of authority and trust who seemed like such a good caring doctor um but even then he managed to take the thing that she loved most her dancing that not only was something that tied to her heritage but was something that she was bloody brilliant at and then he was able to turn that into something tainted and twisted and she, all those years she pushed that to the back of her mind she didn't let herself focus on it she didn't let herself think on it to her he was just the good kind doctor that helped her um and you know, once you've repressed those memories, I don't know how it's, well, I know, I, I mean, it's, I don't know personally, but it's very hard to ever accept them. You know, the, the world in which he was good and kind and nothing horrible happened is a much nicer world than the truth. But Martha is such a giving and kind person who truly does try to see the best in people. And it's just so awful that she's been taken advantage of by this. And the fact that that was part of the reason the Wicked Witch of the West picked up, that's offensive for the Wicked Witch of the West. That is part of the reason that that bitch picked her was because she'd been through that trauma and came parcel part and parcel with a best friend also been through some trauma like just makes me so mad um I'm very very worried about her why what is happening with her because Tony didn't mention her or seem to mention her in a way that she was worried about her now or sad about her now she just kind of seemed like she was just telling the story and was kind of sad about what was happening in the bit we were watching um which makes me hope that she's okay just maybe she's also struggling having just broken every moral she stands for in killing the goat. Now, like I kind of said during the reaction, I imagine I kept it in the edited version, I understand why Martha struggled with that, why Martha didn't want to kill the goat, why Martha was so adamant that they should, it was kind of something, one thing that was good and pure and not tarnished by all the horrible experiences they had. But at the end of the day, they had searched and searched and searched. I imagine it's been a week since the last episode, there was no food in sight. We got very lucky that they happened to stumble across the fruit. 
Um, but even that, they need more than fruit, especially as we don't know how long they're going to be there for. I think I saw that the next episode is day 23, which is the next one, but I have no idea whether they get rescued in that episode or now that I know there's a season two, maybe they're there for even longer and that's just going to be another episode and we'll see more next season. I really don't know. So for these, for this point where they have no food they are wasting away, it really is a matter of survival. Now, yeah, Martha should never have had to do it herself. I think... Tony and Shelby would have very very happily let her leave and done it and just sort of brought the meat etc but for her I feel like this was a real moment where she I feel like Martha's in an even worse place than she's ever been before because she's fully accepting all the gritty violence of the world everything being awful and you know she's doing this thing for the right reason for she's doing it like there's a good reason there to save everybody but she's also kind of accepting everything and letting out some of that anger and hate and hurt that she's had inside her all these years and is not let come to the surface because letting it come to the surface means admitting it's true. And other than a few night times where she wasn't able to hold it in and Tony was just there for her, there's nothing else she can do. And testifying in court is a very frightening thing to do, especially about something so deeply personal and traumatic, and especially when she hasn't fully processed it. So I, un I don't blame her and I do understand why she would have lied in court, but it doesn't mean the trauma's not there, it doesn't mean she's not being affected. And I do wonder how how recent that was. I can't remember how long ago he said it was when he mentioned at the end. So I just really hope she's okay and that the thing we need to tell our parents is that maybe she's in a coma but she's gonna be fine or you know she's similarly to Leah or Shelby she's kind of not not doing too well mentally because of course they're not. They have been on a desert island for 23 days. They thought they had hope coming, hope was taken away, they starved for a week. I mean, only two days of that was with no food but I imagine they really 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 rationed their rations at that point. You know, all of these girls are deteriorating. Some are doing it more visibly than others, but none of them are gonna be in a better mental state than the one they were in when they first arrived. Now, maybe some of them will work through some of the trauma they arrived with, but they're still feeling that trauma. It's still inside them. And this island has just added a thousand times more trauma. And do they really wanna use, are they gonna try and use, oh, you did this bad thing on the island, therefore you don't, like, I just, I hate the people that did this to them. I don't know how any single one of them could have been part of this experiment, watching it day in, day out. That kind of thing would be hard, bad enough if it was like, they were willing participants, all of them, Menorah and Jeanette, who signed up and then were just kind of left alone to survive, would be hard enough, let alone it being children who have no idea what they no, no idea what's happening. Um, I am really scared about what their end goal is in terms of how they're going to get the girls home because obviously they're not going to, they're going to be like, oh, how was summer camp? And then the girl, I'm sorry we didn't tell you it was our whole summer. And then the girls are going to be like, well, actually it was a desert island and it sucked. I am very stressed about that. I'm stressed about Nora because, I mean, I'm very, very cross with Nora, but I do think that she is very much a young girl who got taken advantage of by an, an adult woman she admired because that is what happened. And kind of similarly to Jeanette, even though Jeanette was a few years older, I still think Jeanette fit that category too. And I truly do believe Nora was doing it because she believed it was what was best for Rachel. Um, and she is very much into reading and she's very knowledgeable and seeks out knowledge, I feel like she quite possibly would have come across the work and the writings and been drawn to them because they are very, they seem wonderful and very female empowerment when you get this. Um, I'm just really stressed going into the finale. It is midnight here but I think I am gonna watch the next one now because I have to. Um, I'm not, I think I look exhausted but I honestly don't feel that tired compared to normal. Chronically fatigued, what can you do? I'm stressed. Um, I have not finished discussing everything in the episode though. So for Leah, I kind of get what she, I think, I don't believe she has some supernatural sixth sense, but I do think potentially she is someone that is very analytical. She notices a lot of things. And so potentially when she has seen things that don't add up, but her brain can't make sense of them, like maybe, the, a child realising that the dog was still sleeping and why wasn't he up or that's a funny smell when I went to pat the dog or something but she doesn't quite understand what's happening and what's bad her brain spirals and trying to work it out and when she's in a place like this that is not exactly conducive to your mental health not to mention that she was in a pretty bad state when she arrived it is not doing any wonders for her and maybe she is someone that will be predisposed to some sort of mental conditions and she could do with therapy and potentially even um you know, anti-anxiety or some sort of medication. There's nothing wrong with taking antidepressants. Um, she's in this place where it's just making her worse and worse and worse. And I truly like, what were the experiment people going to do before Rachel jumped in? What would have happened if Rachel had just broken down and said, like, I can't do it. And then there was Leah drowning. I mean, what was the plan there? 
I really wish we'd seen some of them panicking and them trying to work out what they were going to do because I just it doesn't make any sense that that's just if this experiment is making less sense by the second the further we get the more breakdowns we have um and you know there's a season two are we are they even going to get off the island in the next episode or is that going to be a season two thing now the other major thing here is shelby now what i find fascinating is well not i mean stressful and i try to give her a hug from what they said how they described her behavior um before her interview she's really not doing well she's dissociating she's not in a good place now of course she's not but that doesn't quite correlate with the shelby who has reached the point where she's happy to make out with tony to she's okay with it it's a, she'll do it she's happy she's going to initiate it she's beginning to accept that maybe there's nothing wrong with who she is now maybe the harsh reality of potentially facing her, the real world and her parents and their values and the attitude they're going to have to her up against her new hand freedom of who she is is clashing within her and so she's kind of part of her wants to just be the good little church girl and the other one wants to be herself um but she seems like kind of she's got through the bumpy patch of the previous episode in this one she's back to sort of being helpful and she's sticking like she knows about hunting and she's going for it with the hunting and you know she's trying to keep spirits up again um she seems much more happy within herself and maybe that's because rescue is no longer seems imminent um but i'm worried about her but i'm so happy for her that she was able to properly initiate a moment with tony um that they she was able to be the one that you know i'm very very proud of tony for like letting her know that it was something she was open to but letting Shelby be the one to direct it and checking she was doing okay um I do really hope though that they didn't make out for too long before they brought the fruit back because everyone else is starving to death and swimming into the ocean you know and murdering goats I just I'm very worried about Martha and how she's gonna do like I haven't finished my talking about that because I really don't know where her story's gonna go and I'm scared um so I do hope that they didn't get too distracted and they did bring the fruit back and then they always once everyone's had some fruit sneak off into the woods and have as much fun as you want I will support them I'll turn off the cameras but I just it's stressful but I'm very proud of her in that moment I think Tony really did get a whole new appreciation and understanding of Shelby in that moment um the first moment with the first kiss and then in this one I think realizing that she was letting herself be herself was everything but obviously she goes from having hair that could become a bob to having a shaved head so something with Shelby is not still not happy and understandably so because none of them are very happy but I'm very excited to watch the finale a reminder you can find the unedited version of this show I on all of my reactions on my Patreon and thank you so much for watching